Hey family, welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. I am Carinta Amanda. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are enjoying your day or your evening. So today I'm going to be doing my January 2022 paycheck number one cash envelope stuffing. So I know you see a change in my presentation. I did switch the background. I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. Not to say that I won't go back to the pink, but for now I'm loving this new spread. So I'm gonna switch it up with how I do this video. I'm gonna do a breakdown of what I will be stuffing. So like a mini budget with me, and then we'll just get right into the cash stuffing. So if you are new to my channel, I do videos on personal finance and lifestyle. My favorite is cash stuffing videos. I just love to save money. But in addition to that, I have other content that I feel would be good for anyone who is trying to do better on their personal finance journey. So if you do like those types of videos and you are interested in my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. So let's get right into here is my budget breakdown. Today we'll be cash stuffing $650 of my paycheck. So I am not a zero-based budgeter. I get my paycheck direct deposited to my bank account and I pay my bills directly from my bank account. So some of my bills are on auto pay. Some I do go directly online and pay myself. And I have one bill that I have to actually pay by check because they do not accept automated payments. So that is pretty much how I go about my budget. I do leave a buffer amount in my account. That means I leave X amount of dollars in my bank account. So if anything was to happen that I do have money available and also to cover any unexpected expenses or Anything that may come up that I, you know, need to cover and I will not be using cash, I'll just have to use my debit card or my bank account to pay for. So this is my breakdown. Today for my variable expenses, miscellaneous will be getting 30. Sorry about that, guys. Miscellaneous will be getting $30. Gas will be getting 80. Groceries, 120. Laundry will get its usual $20. My hair, 50 nails 80 so that's a total of 380 dollars for my variable expenses spending and my saving and investing binder savings will be getting 25 dollars. this savings is for my emergency fund this is for my starter one thousand dollar emergency fund i am trying to replenish that money so i'm starting out by saving from each and every paycheck to do that Next is investing. Investing is for my retirement account for my Roth IRA. That will be getting $20. So my saving and investing binder will be getting a total of $45. And then I have my high priority and low priority sinking funds. So car maintenance is gonna get 35. Clothes is gonna get 20. Debt will be getting 25. I'm paying off a credit card and a personal loan at this time. So this is additional funds that will be applied to those two balances. Give is getting 10. Carenza is getting 17. Carenza is for my vlog camera that I'm saving for. Vacay is going to get 29. That is a total of $136 for high priority. And moving on to low priority, I have beauty getting 29. Date night will get 20. Gifts 25 and self care 15. I recently moved taxes from high priority to low priority because I already have the funds saved in my digital taxes fund. So I moved it back to low priority because tax season is approaching and I really don't need to save any more money for it. So for now, it's going back to low priority. So that is a total of $89 that will be saved in low priority. So I'm really excited to cash stuff this. Let's get right into it. I love saving money. This is by far my favorite video. So I'm going to start with seeing how much money I have left over in my funds. So I have a few dollars, but not much. So let's see. Miscellaneous has 
one, two, three, four, five. Miscellaneous has five dollars. So I am participating in the one dollar saving challenge. These dollars will go towards my one dollar savings challenge. So I'm going to put that to the side for now. Let me see if I have any other funds left. Okay, so I do have a few dollars left in gas because I did not drive as much as I usually do. So I have $15 left in gas. So I'm actually going to take this $5 bill and I'm going to save it in my $5 savings challenge. And I'm going to show you all what I do with that later. And this $10, I'm going to put back into gas because I want to roll it over. So I'm just going to put it right there for now. So groceries, I have nothing. Laundry, I have $10. So this I'm actually going to save. I'm not going to roll it over. I'm going to put it to the side. So I'll let you know what I do with that later. I don't have any money left in here. It seems like I have a few dollars left in nails. Okay, I have another $10 available in nails. So I didn't get my usual nail care. So that's why I have a few dollars left over. So this I'm going to put to the side well, as well. And there's obviously nothing in receipts because that's no money. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to cash stuff $650. So I so we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, that's 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, so that's 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, this is 600. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So this is $650. So I'm actually going to move this down a little bit because I did not get any 50s from the bank. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm going to start with miscellaneous. So miscellaneous is going to get $30. So that is going to be one $10 bill, one $5 bill, another $5 bill, one more $5 bill, and then I'm going to give it five singles. So one two, three, four, five. And you guys, this is my first time. I'm actually filming with my phone. I've just got a new phone, so I'm filming with my new iPhone, which I'm really excited. I got the 13 Pro Max, so let me know if this angle is okay. I just wanted to try something a little different. So let me just double check again. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Perfect. That's $30. I hope you all are doing so good. How are you doing on your personal finance journeys? Let me know, have you decided on your 2022 financial goals? Like, how is that going for you? Did you switch it up? Did you decide to go in a different direction? I did a recent video on my goals and I'm really excited to implement them. Some people are saving, some people are investing, some people are paying off debt, some people are doing it all together. So comment down below. Let me know what you are doing for your, what is top priority for your financial goals for this year. So gas is going to get its usual 80. So 20, 40, 60, 80. And then I have another 10 in here that I told you about. So that's going to be $90 in gas. And I like that. This is my first time having money left over in gas. So next is groceries. Groceries, we're getting 120. So that's going to be this $100 bill plus this 20. So that's 120. Food went up. It is so crazy. The prices are ridiculous. Inflation is so real, you guys. 
um, $20 for laundry, so that's going to be two tens. Next is going to be hair. Hair will be getting $50, so that's going to be two twenties. That's going to be one $5 bill, and that's going to be five singles. So one, two, three, four, five. So 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, $50. I like it to be super neat, you guys. And these ones are a little crusty. I hate crusty dollars. I love crispy money. Not too crispy, but crispy. And then last but not least for my variable expenses is $80 for nails. So that is going to be 320s. So one, two, three. And one ten dollar bill and two five dollar bills. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. So eighty dollars for nails. So that is it for my variable expenses spending for my wallet. Now we are going to move on to my saving and investing binder. So my saving and investing binder. I will not be stuffing my emergency fund this month. I will be stuffing that starting in February. This is for my three to six months of expenses emergency fund. So I'm gonna move on to my savings, which is for my starter $1,000 emergency fund. So savings is going to be getting $25. So that's gonna be 120 and 15. So I currently have 50, 100. 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260, 270, 275, 280, 285, 290, 295, 300 dollars is currently in savings, and my goal is one thousand dollars. So next is investing. Investing will be getting a twenty dollar bill. So there's currently no money investing because I did put money into my Roth IRA. So we're just going to be stuffing this envelope with 20. So I'm really excited to be saving and investing. So next we're going to move on to my high priority sinking funds. So that is this binder right here. And we are going to start with car maintenance. Car maintenance is going to get $35. So that's going to be a 20 a 10 and a five. So I did just do a sink and friends update. So I don't know if I'm going to count each one. Uh, maybe I will. You know what? I will. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Okay. So car maintenance currently has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165 dollars is in car maintenance right now. Next is clothes. Clothes will be getting $20, so that's going to be a $20 bill. So clothes now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200. Next is debt. Debt will be getting $25, so that's this 20 and this 5. And I've said it before, you guys know, if you are not new to my channel, debt is my favorite envelope to cash stuff. I love paying off debt. I don't like to owe anybody. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 490, 495, 500 is in debt right now. And I currently have debt in um, on in the bank, so I have a digital sink and fund for debt, so that is why you see prop money here, as well as real money. So next is give. Give is getting $10, so nothing is in give right now. So I'll just be stuffing this envelope. I love starting over. It's okay to start over. A lot of people in the budget community did start over for the new year. I think that's absolutely wonderful. Just have like a nice, fresh, clean slate. So Carissa will be getting $17. So that's a 10, a five, and two singles. 
So Carinza currently has, let's see. And Carinza also has funds in the bank in a digital fund. So that's why it's prop money as well as real money. So Carinza has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 710, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 750 dollars is in Carinza. Last but not least for high priority is Vacay. Vacay is getting $29. So that's a $20 bill, a $5 bill, and four singles. Oh, I don't like crusty bills, guys. Look how dirty that is. I'm going to have to switch that out at some point. So Vacay currently has now, let's see. Vacay now has a total of 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 445, 450, 455, 460, 461, 62, 63, 65, 465 is currently in vacay. And my goal for vacay is a thousand, and that's for spending money on my next vacation. So I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> next, we're gonna move on to my low priority sinking funds binder. And we're gonna start with beauty. Beauty is going to get $29. That is gonna be a 20 and four singles. So if you are doing your sinking funds, excuse me, a 20, a five, and four singles. If you are doing your sinking funds, please know that you don't have to start each and every one every time you want to do your budget. You can decide if you want to only stuff certain ones. That is solely up to you. There is no right or wrong way to go about um, saving. As long, as long as you're putting money aside, that's all that matters for what's important to you nothing else matters you know um not the amount if you see another budgeter putting away more money than you that's okay you don't have to feel bad you have to do what works best for you in your personal financial situation so beauty has 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 96 97 98 99 beauty now has 100 dollars and my goal for beauty is 300, so I'm only 200 shy from that. Next is date night. Date night will be getting a $20 bill. So let's see how much date night has. So date night currently has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. We are almost there, guys. Love that. So next is gifts. Gifts will be getting $25. So that's going to be $120 and $15. See that here. So gifts currently has now $20, 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 1 2 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Gifts currently has one hundred dollars. Next we have self care. Self care will be getting the last fifteen. So self care currently has let's see. Self care now has twenty, thirty 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85 dollars is now in self-care. And my goal for self-care is 200. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like I am getting somewhere. Okay, guys. So this, we are going into the last portion of my video. And I wanted to show you guys what I do with the funds that I had put from a rollover. So instead of rolling over into the next um, budget week, I decided to save my ones and my fives. So these ones I'm going to put into this envelope. This is my savings binder for my challenges. And then next I'm going to save these fives. So the two tens that I have, I will actually 
roll it over into one of my savings challenges. So I'm just going to put it in this envelope right now, this clear envelope for now. So I'm really excited to move on to doing a new savings challenge that I just added to the mix. So right now my savings challenges are my $1 savings challenge, my $5 savings challenge, and I'm also doing my coins challenge. I'm finishing up my I know it's a handful, guys. I'm finishing up my 100 envelope challenge, and I'm doing the Arison's Love $1,200 for the year challenge. And last but not least, which I'm really excited about, is my Pink's Budgets Platinum Scratch Off Challenge. So this one I'm really excited about. So I'm actually going to scratch off one of the gems to see how much I will have to cash up in my next savings challenge video. So I'm going to start with this one at the top. And it ranges from the highest 95 to the lowest 55. Okay, so now I know what I have to save for this challenge in my next video. So I have to save $90. So I will be pulling money from the bank to stuff that. I'm so excited about that, guys. I feel like even though I'm not playing the lottery, I feel like I'm low-key playing the lottery, but I'm just paying myself in the mix. So I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all of you guys' support. You guys are simply the best. I really don't know what I would do without this community. You guys have definitely kept me on a positive path to my financial freedom. I want to let you know that you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. If you want to save X amount of dollars for you, for your emergency funds, to buy a home, for your children's college fund, anything that you want to do, you can do it. Come up with a realistic, strategic, time-bound plan that will get you to where you want to be. Do not let anything or anyone get in your way. Even if you have to pivot or something happens along the way, pick yourself up and keep going. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Take care and be safe. Till next time. Bye.